Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I'm going to talk to you today about how to introduce straw cup drinking to your infant after six months of age. There are two different ways I'm going to show you how to introduce a straw cup today. The first is going to be with a honey bear cup and this is one of the cups I recommend for um, starting out with infant straw use. And the reason why I like this cup is you're actually able to squeeze the sides and that brings the water up to the top of the straw and then the infant can practice sucking for there, from there. So there are two primary parts to straw cup drinking. There's pulling the liquid into the straw and then getting it out of the straw. This takes that first piece out of the equation, so they're just working on the end of it, and then you can add that other step as they go. They can just suck it straight up and you don't have to squeeze, so that's a way that you can grade it as they develop more skill. The important thing with the honey bear is to make sure it's filled all the way up. If it's not filled all the way, you'll have to squeeze a lot, and that can be harder to hold while you're offering it to your infant, as opposed to when it's filled all the way up. The other way that I like to work on straw cup drinking is with just one of our open cups, but then working with a straw with it to practice the straw being different heights. So when I'm working on um, open cup and a straw cup, I cut the straw to be right above, and that is actually a little bit too tall. Um, so I cut the straw so it's only a little bit above the top of it. That means that when the infant goes to suck, they're gonna put their lips on, but they're not gonna bite. When there's a really long straw, we tend to see biting more, or if it's too short, they'll kind of hang on with their teeth. So we're looking for it to be up above the ridge of the cup, just enough for them to get their lips on and practice pulling the puree up. What I tend to do when I'm introducing a straw for infants is I'll use a puree. I will have the puree in the cup and I'll hold the top of the straw. That will automatically pull some of the puree up and I'll offer that to them this way. The reason why I'll offer it like this is they can practice again, just sucking the puree out, similar to how when we have our honey bear and we've already pulled the fluid up into it. Same concept here, they can just practice pulling it out. As they start to suck, I will let go of this side and more will go into their mouth. And I continue to work on that until they're sucking every time. Once they're doing that, I'll put it back in the cup and I'll practice having them suck here. I will hold the straw once they have it in their mouth, just because it's not connected and it can kind of come in and out a lot. Um, but I will hold it here, let them practice sucking and see if they're able to consistently suck. As they do well with a basic puree, I will water that puree down until we get to the texture of water. And this can be a great way to scaffold that or change it based on the infant's need because thicker is gonna be easier for them to manage in their mouth as opposed to thinner. So that's the progression I like to work on for a straw cup use. Again, the main thing we're looking at when we're using a straw is how much it's going above the um, ridge of the cup. So we don't want it to be too long, they're gonna bite. Same thing with it being too short. We want it to be far enough above that their lips go around it but not too much more space between where the straw attaches and their lips. Hopefully this helped a little bit with how to introduce straw cup drinking. If you have any questions regarding your child's feeding development or development in general, please feel free to reach out and we will be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks so much.